Hey friends, I'm Pastor Jack Mantrick, pastor at Century Night Methodist Church here in Waterford, Michigan. We're talking and have been talking uh, for the last three weeks about making changes in our lives, envisioning you in X years, whether that time horizon would be a one year time horizon or two years or three or five years. What changes do you want to enact in your life so that you may be what you want to be in light of God's grace and therefore be blessed to be what God wants for you as well? The scripture that we've used is from Exodus, the 23rd chapter, verses 20 to 33. And this is a little pep talk that God is giving to the Israelites so that they know that they are empowered, that they are being prepared to enter into the promised land and to face the challenges of their situation so that they may come into this. Now, now let me, let me read this to you. It uh, again from Exodus uh, chapter 23, verses 20 to 33. Behold, I'm going to send an angel before you to guard you along the way and to bring you into the place which I have prepared. Be on your guard before him and obey his voice. Do not be rebellious toward him, for he will not pardon your transgression since my name is in him. But if you truly obey his voice and do all that I say, then I will be an enemy to your enemies and an adversary to your adversaries. For my angel will go before you and bring you into the land of the Amorites, the Hittites, the, Pez the per Perizzites, excuse me, the Canaanites, the Hivites, and the Jebusites, and I will completely destroy them. You shall not worship their gods, nor serve them, nor according to, uh, or nor do according to their uh, deeds. But you shall utterly overthrow them and break their sacred pillars in pieces. But you shall serve the Lord your God, and He will bless your your bread and your water. And I will remove sickness from your midst. There shall be no more miscarrying or barren in your land. I will fulfill the number of your days. I will send my terror ahead of you and throw into confusion all the people among whom you will come. And I will make all your enemies turn their backs to you. I will send hornets ahead of you so that they will drive out the Hivites and the Canaanites and the Hittites before you. I will drive them out before you in a single year that the land may not become desolate and the beast of the fields become too numerous for you. I will drive them out before you little by little, and you will become fruitful and take possession of the land. I will fix your boundaries from the Red Sea to the Sea of the Philistines, from the wilderness uh, to the river Euphrates, and I will deliver the inhabitants of the land into your hand, and you will drive them out before you. You shall make no covenant with them or with their gods, they shall not live in your land because they will make you sin against me. For if you serve their gods, it will surely be a snare to you. <clears throat> I should mention that I was, I'm reading from the New American Standard Bible. The, the point here is that there's all these challenges before them, represented by these nations. And they are uh, mighty nations. They're big obstacles. So you need to think about the obstacles that have been um, in your way in terms of making changes. Yesterday, I talked about uh, how you should think about what's holding you back from making changes in your life, what's enslaving you uh, in terms of not being able to reach your goals. So this scripture tells us, though, that not only is God preparing the land for them, but he's, he's got a plan. And you might have caught it. It's not going to happen all at once. It's going to be little by little. And if you read the rest of the scriptures, you'll find that it took seven years for them to enter and possess the promised land. It was not easy. There were many obstacles. But there was this idea that little by little, they didn't want to take over the land all at once. For to do so, they would be a few people living in that land. And uh, there was always this danger that, well, it would become wild because the cities wouldn't be occupied by people because they were a small nation. And, they, and the, the, the wilderness would grow over uh, the land that they possessed. The cities would grow over with trees and uh, grasses and wild animals. But little by little, 
was the plan so that as the nation grew, it would grow into the promised land as well as overcoming those nations who were mightier than them and represent the challenges that were before them. So that little by little is really important when it comes to accomplishing our goals in the long range. Uh, one, uh, one book I've uh, really enjoyed reading is uh, The Many Habits uh, uh, by Stephen Geis. It's uh, a good book to just tell us, look, there are many habits that we'll, we can develop that will have great results in our lives. And so I want you to think about what are the step-by-step, -step, what are the daily consistencies that you can build into your life so that you can make your goals a reality? He tells, uh, Stephen Geist tells the story that, uh, you know, he thought about this. He wanted to go and work out. You know, he was trying to psych himself up for a 30-minute workout. And, you know, he, he even saw his gym bag with all his clothes in there, ready to go. And, you know, he had to make the trip to the gym and, and all that. And he thought, well, what if I just did one push-up? So he did. He did one push-up and he felt better. The idea is that you make your goals so stupidly small <laughs> that you can't fail to meet them. But then your goals will grow. You know, if you get down on the floor and you do one push-up, well, you're down on the floor, you might as well do two push-ups, and then maybe three the next day. And you build it up until you are able to do 100 push-ups at once. I know a, a woman who is in incredible uh, shape in her uh, 70s, and she does 100 setups and 100 push-ups every day. <laughs> every day. She didn't do it all at once. And she walks a lot, too. I know that she's exercising and she does a lot. So it's uh, you need to spell out how little by little you will make some changes. Now, we're going to talk some more about that, uh, how we make these goals and, uh, and what those goals are and how we can keep them small and therefore manageable and uh, make them so small that you can't fail to meet those goals. But for right now, uh, let's uh, talk to God and trusting that God, little by little, will help us make uh, the changes in our lives that will produce great results. Let's pray. Gracious God, we do thank you for the opportunity to come before you, to, to reflect on your word and to, realize as, and to realize that change is tough and that there are challenges before us. Help us to overcome those challenges. Help us to do that which will bring change into our lives so that we may be the people we desire and, and people who are worthy of your call upon our lives. May it ever be so, in the name of Christ our Lord, amen. Hey friends, have a great day and God bless you.